Hello, I am Alex Medovoy, founder and CEO at Altexsoft. Welcome to this brand new series of videos about strategic decisions that will help grow your travel industry product. We will discuss how to explore customer segments, articulate a value proposition, and eventually match those up with related financial targets and available technology solutions. Now, I sense a question in the air. You're wondering what qualifies me to talk on the matter. I've been in the technology business for the last 20 years, 15 of which I've been a CEO of a technology consulting company. I'm also a serial investor in over 30 services and product companies and a board member and advisor to CEOs in a few other companies doing consulting work for them. Altexsoft is one of the top tech consultants in the travel industry. We work with both leisure and business segments, helping online travel agencies, alternative accommodation, hospitality, and companies coming from the other travel branches. More than a half of our business is focused on travel and hospitality, and we also do a lot of product development work in the other industries. So, what is a product strategy? It's the way you answer the key questions about your product. What do you sell? Who do you sell it to? How do you make it successful? And how to make money? Sounds simple, but the details matter. That's exactly what we are going to talk about in this series. In our first video, I'll highlight the key aspects of product development strategy in travel, things that you must drill down into to understand your business feasibility. Can it survive on the market and succeed? To make things easier for you folks, let's use the case of one of our partners who built their travel platform with Altexsoft. Imagine a powerful regional holding that has been in business for the last 40 years. It branches out into several industries, including corporate travel and banking. Keep these two in mind as they're going to play a special role in this story. So their corporate travel management division works with large private sector and governmental clients. The guys have some tech infrastructure in place, but by no means is it a digital and automated platform. So in a way, we may also call it a digital transformation journey. As the company works in corporate travel segment, they have a pretty good grip on what's been happening on the market. The local economy has been growing for years. More and more people started spending significant amounts of money on both international and domestic travel. So the idea was straightforward. Let's start an online travel agency now catering to leisure travelers. Sounds great, right? Prior to engaging Altexsoft, they attempted to launch their online platform twice, and they eventually wasted almost $7 million. But the third time was the charm. Together, we've managed to rebuild the logic of the business and even survive the pandemic. In a matter of 18 months, we hit the first launch. So as we talk about product strategy, what are the essential points here and how did they translate into our partner's business? Let's start with understanding of the market and customer segments. Prior to doing anything, we have to narrow down the niche and measure its size. We want to make sure we have people who are going to buy our product. As I mentioned, our partners recognized untapped potential in the original leisure travel. There was a big domestic market, the local citizens traveling across the country, and multi-billion, or actually 18 billion dollars in outbound travel from their home state. That was the first big segment. But besides locals, they also saw that many people were traveling into their country from the region. This one was pretty interesting. Their country is a major destination for travelers from the neighboring nations who fly in for religious holidays and cultural experiences. They usually come in groups and this travel is seasonal. They arrive on particular dates, stay at particular places. So we have two major segments, local travelers and seasonal inbound travelers. Okay, it seems there is the market. 
But is there a need for a new product? C. These people already travel, and it's not like they're sitting and waiting for somebody to take them on a journey, right? So the first thing you have to understand about your niche is what this thing that customers currently lack. Is it a direct connection? Is it a cheaper way to travel? Or maybe the customer service is horrible. You have to understand their pain points. When we dug into this market, we saw that most of these people use international travel, agency platforms, and a few local ones. In fact, global platforms didn't specifically cater to this region. The language localization, the currency support were poor, with no regional perks, no localized loyalty programs, basically no value propositions specifically designed for these type of travelers. Another problem was that inbound travelers who came for religious holidays experienced all sorts of travel booking frustrations. They had to pick flights, match them with hotels, make sure the payments are settled. It all gets pricey because it's high season. They had to deal with visa paperwork and on top of that, they usually do it for groups. Another layer of complexity. Now. It seems there are a lot of problems. What can we do about that? Can we address these needs to engage people? That's the next milestone in your journey. You have to articulate a unique value proposition that should be based upon the actual need of the client. This UVP will translate into a product vision. So what's a unique value proposition? It's a promise to bring value to your customers and address their problems. Your product vision has to revolve around that promise. Let's get back to our example. The first thing that our product must offer is a localized service. It has to support all languages in the region as well as all currencies so people can seamlessly book their travel. Second. We don't want people to visit dozens of different websites, to book flights and then hotels and then again to rent cars. We want to offer a comprehensive experience, especially to the locals who travel domestically and abroad. They must be able to combine all bookings in one place using both mobile devices and the web. What about inbound visitors? They come in groups, visit particular places at a particular time. What we can offer is destination management. They can book entire group packages with flights and accommodation. And we will even help them deal with visa processing. Finally, travel is expensive. And since most travelers are very price sensitive to get people to shift from global brands, we offer regional perks and discounts. For instance, we can give a discount on group travel. These four main promises define the product's vision, a one-stop shop for regional leisure travelers, and offer a localized, bespoke service by a recognizable and trusted area brand. As you remember, they've been around for 40 years. Okay, it all sounds great, but how can we deliver on these promises? What are the enablers? The first one is partnerships. Now, we have to touch on the one big thing. Travel is a distribution-centric industry. So partnerships, direct contracts with suppliers, distributors, aggregators, and wholesalers are critical. Not just must-haves, but critical. What are the main partnerships that would enable such product vision? Remember that they had a separate banking business? Why don't we engage the banking division and other partner banks in the region to provide travel perks to the existing bank clients? They already had the contacts, so these people can use bank cards to get discounts and perks. Another major group of partners is global distribution systems. GDSs are the major players in the travel market. The video about them will be right here. Since the company was in corporate travel before, they already had several GDS accounts with best value fares from airlines and car rentals tied to that. And finally, they struck a deal with a local bed bank that provided rooms wholesale for the inbound segment. Combining all three, 
and having a strategic level of relationships. They could engage existing corporate clients along with a big volume of individual leisure clients, all of which help to get the best cost structure among their competitors. So let's talk about that. Another critical consideration point is, how are you gonna make money? What are the revenue streams and how do you balance them with the cost structure? So, the traditional revenue stream in a travel agency is obviously charging markups on bookings. The problem here is staying competitive. As travelers are price sensitive, you have to invest a lot in marketing and win the price war. More on marketing in online travel agencies here. So what did we do? The previous platform that our partner tried to work with was a white label system that did not have flexibility to tweak markups and discounts. The vendor was also receiving their share of commissions from each booking. So the first step was to move from a transactional model where our partner had to share their money with somebody else to an economically scalable model where they didn't have to pay for every transaction they made. Now consider that we wanted to create a strong loyalty program and offer perks to bank clients as well as discounts for group and package travel. So in terms of revenue streams, instead of applying the same markup to bulk of travel products, we decided to introduce a flexible markup and discount system. It would allow for adjusting prices individually, depending on the type of service, destination, and acquisition channel. And as they had partnerships with GDSs and banks, they could get incentives for each booking from them as well. Such incentives could compensate for a lower markup. So this granular approach to pricing helped earn more on those transactions, where the competition is lower and at the same time use discounts where the competition is higher and engage more customers. But no matter what you think you want to do, it's all about how you're going to do it. What are you going to get as a result of your journey? So the final point of your strategy is technology vision. Which features do you need to enable all those things? The first is a fully automated search and booking engine. It must allow people to configure DIY tours or book a pre-configured package, add language localization for every country in the region, and a payment gateway that supports the currencies of these countries. To enable granular and dynamic markups, it must have a flexible commission engine. It would allow revenue managers to set up discounts, perks, and markup rules for different combinations of travel products. In terms of integrations, the platform must connect to GDSs and MetaSearch websites as they are main channels for engaging with price-sensitive clients. A lot of things eventually allowed our client to transform their existing business and get a full-cycle, one-stop-shop solution that will serve a particular region. That's it for today. Next time, we'll have a closer look at the ways you can validate your product idea and consider a value proposition. In the meantime, go ahead and check this series by my colleague Andre, who explains the technical aspects of creating online travel agencies. And if you like the video, give it thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for being with me today. See you next time.